Hello, this is Amit from Digital Inspiration and this is a demo of Twitter bots. Now when you think of bots and when you think of creating a bot, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Code, right? You need to write a program that will act as a bot. Now this Twitter bots application helps you create bots visually. So you don't have to worry about writing any code. You don't have to be a programmer. All you have to do is describe your bot in plain English and it will do the rest. So here are some of the capabilities of the Twitterbots application. It can retweet and favorite tweets. It can follow users who tweet on particular topics. It can send DMs or direct messages to your new followers. It can reply to tweets with a public reply or even a DM. And finally, it can add users who tweet on particular topics to one of your Twitter lists. The other interesting feature of the Twitterbots application is that you can specify the time period for which the bot should run. So for instance, if you're offline during evening or late night, you can instruct the bot to only run between 6 p.m. to 9 a.m. when you're usually offline. Okay, now that you know what the bots can do, it's time to create a Twitter bot. So the first thing you need to do is go to apps.twitter.com and create a new Twitter application. Now this is the easy part, all you have to do is fill in the Twitter bot's name, a unique description and your website address. Now remember to put the full website address including the HTTP part. Uh, finally agree to the developer terms and conditions and create your application. The bot has been created successfully but if you look at the access level it is set as read and write. What that essentially means is that your bot can read tweets and it can write tweets. It cannot however send DMs. So for that what we'll do is we'll modify the app permissions and set the access level as read write and access DMs. Our Twitter application is almost ready now. The last thing we need to do is generate the keys and access tokens and use that in our Twitter bots. Next go to labnol.org slash bots to access the Twitter bots application and here copy paste the Twitter keys that we have just generated. So we are all set, it is now time to create the bots. So writing a bot is simple. You specify the search term, you specify the action and the bot is ready. So for the first bot, let's say we are trying to uh, capture all tweets that mention the hashtag green energy and that have been uh, retweeted at least uh, 10 number of times. If we find any such tweets, the bot should automatically favorite that tweet. For the second bot, let's have some fun. So we'll try to find tweets that have misspellings of a common word. And in case somebody has misspelled that word, we'll try to uh, send them a tweet, a public reply saying that the correct spelling is this. Now they're definitely not going to like this, but this is just to demonstrate the capabilities of the bot. For the next bot, I'm trying to find out interesting users who tweet about life hacks and I'm trying to add them to a Twitter list that I've already created. So for that, what I will do is I'll specify the search term as hash life hacks min faves 5. Now this is a search operator that will only return tweets that have been favorited at least 5 times. Now the important thing to note here is that when you are specifying a Twitter list, one, this Twitter list should already exist and second, the way you should specify the Twitter list is mention your screen name followed by a slash and followed by the slug of the Twitter list. Let's now switch to the fourth bot. It is not important that you create all the bots in one go but for this demo let's do that. What I want the fourth bot to do is send a DM to someone who follows a particular user. So in this case, whenever somebody follows Labnol, a DM will be sent. So you specify the username in the search field and the message that should go out as the DM in the reply field.
So it's time to create the final bot and this is an interesting one because unlike other bots that are always running, this will only run during certain hours. So what I'm trying to do is set up an out of office reply bot that will reply to tweets that come when I'm offline. So the bots have been described and it's time to create and unleash those bots. So how do you do that? Simple. Just click the create button. So when you click the create button, what it does is it creates a background process that runs every 15 minutes. So your bots will auto run every 15 minutes. They will find all the matching tweets and perform the associated actions against those tweets. There are two other important buttons on this page that you should know about. One is the show logs button and this comes handy if you're trying to know what the bot is doing in the background and if the bot is not working what could be the possible reason. Then you have the stop button and as obvious this helps you stop all the Twitter bots in one go. So let's see what the bot is doing in the background. Now here is a tweet that the bot has sent. Uh, fixing asking somebody to fix their misspelling obviously a fun bot and this is the next tweet that the bot has favorited so if you remember we had a bot that would favorite all green energy hashtag tweets with minimum number of favorites as 10 so it has done that so creating bots is very simple the only thing you need to take care of is play by the twitter rules you should also check out twitter archiver it helps you save tweets in a google sheet forever